Have you been looking for how to keep a longer and healthier natural hair without having to burn a hole in your pocket? Then trust me, this video is certainly for you, okay? Make sure you watch this video to the end to see how to prepare this simple hairspray and how to use it on your natural hair. hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is today favorite chiwendo and i welcome you to my channel here on this channel i post everything about natural hair natural hair care growth and treatment i also post diy videos especially on hair so if any of this interests you make sure to stay subscribed okay and if you're already part of this wonderful family thank you so much for tuning in so guys today in this video we'll be making a hairspray for treating your hair and scalp and also retaining your hair growth and our major ingredients for today will be cloves cloves are dried flowers of the clove tree cloves are used as aromatic spice in many cuisines they are also source of clove oil and you guys know that these cloves also serve as a spice in sorrel drink that drink popularly known as um zobo in nigeria so the main active compound in cloves is a chemical known as eugenol. Eugenol has antimicrobial, antiseptic and anti-inflammatory properties. Which simply means that cloves is very good for skin treatment. But since we are using this ingredient for our hair, I'll be telling you guys some of the properties of cloves which are also very good for the hair. Cloves are rich in a number of nutrients required for hair growth and hair care which includes potassium, sodium, omega-3 fatty acid. Some other nutrients are iron, manganese, vitamins K and C, iodine and fiber. Now all of these aforementioned nutrients are also full of antioxidants that help protect the hair from oxidative damages. Therefore, cloves grows the hair, adds shines to the hair, treats dandruff, prevents premature growing and also curbs hair loss like hair breakage and it also keeps your scalp and hair very clean. So just head over to the description box to read how cloves does all of this to your hair. For now, we are going to continue with the recipe. So in a clean plate, I'll be adding 2 tablespoons of cloves. You can add as many as you want depending on how long you want to use this. Maybe for 5 days if you want to store it in the freezer. But I just want to use this for just 2 days. So I'll be adding just 2 tablespoons. And then I'll go ahead to add my hot water. Now this water is very very hot like I boiled it to a rolling point. So the water I'm adding is just a little bit quantity. Just according to the spoons, I, I use two spoons, so I'll be adding a little bit of water. I don't want the water to be much, so you can add just according to how many spoons of the clothes you are using. So I'll go ahead to stir it very, very well. So guys, this is the color after stirring it, like a light yellow, a sunny color actually. So I'll be storing this for 24 hours because I want the clothes to release all of the contents, like all of its contents into the water. So I'll be leaving this in a bottle for 24 hours. But if you cannot wait to use this hairspray, you can actually boil it together, like just boil the clothes and the water together but i wouldn't want to lose any of the contents like during the boiling process some of the content might easily evaporate but i wouldn't want that to happen so i'll be storing this so this is the most advisable process to get your hairspray from cloves so next on i'll be transferring this into my jug my jug that has a funnel like mouth just for easy transfer into the jar i'll be using to store it for 24 hours so for the storage, you can actually make use of any jar. Just make sure that the cover is very good, more like an airtight container, okay? So I'll be using this particular one and after pouring it in, I'll just go ahead and cover it very, very well. If you have a foil, you can go ahead and cover the mouth with a foil before using the jar's cover to cover it. But I don't have a foil, so I'll just cover it very, very well with the cover. So guys, after the whole process, this is the color. After mixing it very well and putting it in the jar, this is the color. It is getting a bit darker. So I'll just go ahead and leave this for 24 hours. So after exactly 12 hours, I went to check on it. And you guys can see it is now a bit darker than it was when I started storing it. So I'll still go ahead and leave it for the next 12 hours. 
and here we are at the 24th hour you guys can see it is now very very dark like it is like say brownish yeah a dark brownish color and it simply means that the cloves have actually released all the content into the water so it is actually ready for use so next time we'll start extracting our hairspray i'll be using this um sieve that is made of cheese cloth so i'll be using it to extract the hairspray so i'll just go ahead and pour it and you guys can see there's a very clear difference between the one that have released all the contents and the the one i haven't used and as for the chaff you can decide to do away with it you can also blend it and use it as a hair mask and you can also mix it with another quantity of unused cloves and pour hot water it will still extra you still get some content from it as well so next on i'll be transferring it into my spray bottle and you guys it is ready for use so right now i'll just show you guys how to use this on your hair so i already washed my hair and moisturized it as well and you guys it is also advisable to moisturize your hair before applying any products on your hair because it allows the product to pass through your hair follicles easily and also for a faster result so i'll just go ahead and start um cutting my hair into small sections so this is me actually trying to show you guys how neat my hair is so i'll just start using my brush to detangle my hair and you guys always detangle from the tip just so you don't cut your hair and this is exactly what i am doing i'm detangling from the tip till i get to the root so it will be easier for me and also so i won't hurt my hair and you guys i will go ahead to start applying my hairspray on the section that i've already worked on and this um hairspray has this sweet smell like flower flowery smell i can't explain but the smell is actually good and because cloves is also good for the skin i will go ahead and also apply this on my face just rub a little bit of it on my face so after applying the hairspray on that section i'll start using my hand to run through the hair and also massage my scalp very well and like i said in my other video massaging your scalp is actually good for your head it stimulates hair growth and also increases the blood flow in your head so go ahead and massage your scalp very well with the products or even without any products actually and then i went on ahead to use my fenugreek oil to seal in the moisture and i put my hair into a protective hairstyle so you can decide to use this as a leave-in or you can wash it out but there's no need washing it out because the smell is even good the smell is nice and it's actually better to to leave it in your hair so don't go ahead washing this out allow allow it to work on your hair before washing it out and if you're already on a corn roll or any other protective hairstyle there's no need always losing your hair to apply this hairspray so you can just go ahead and spray it just the way i am doing right now and use your hair your hand to um seal the, seal the moisture in very well and go ahead to use your um hair butter or hair oil as well so after everything i just went on ahead to use my wig net and cover my hair very well so guys that's basically all for this video if you have any questions for me please drop it in the comment section so i will get to answer it and please if this video was really helpful to you please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and also head over to the description box to get everything i did not say in this video and again if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit on that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you'll be notified each time i upload a new video i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye